Hello CLAT aspirants, welcome to Abhya's online CLAT prep. I am Shaji Mohan, I am a senior verbal trainer here. Today's class is on 10 significant approaches to CLAT reading comprehension. So without further ado, let us go to the video. Yes, reading comprehension and the question is how do you approach CLAT reading comprehension? One of the greatest strategies to respond to CLAT English question is to improve your reading comprehension skills. To strengthen your knowledge on English language or English subject, it is highly recommended that you prepare a lot of reading, I mean do a lot of reading. So uh, reading a lot will definitely help you to solve reading comprehension better because it is important that you read fast and to improve your reading speed you got to read a lot. So let us quickly go to the 10 significant approaches to CLAT reading comprehension and here we are. This is how we go, strategies to approach CLAT reading comprehension passages. We are going to talk about 10 different strategies or 10 different approach to reading comprehension. I am referring to English CLAT reading comprehension. And the very first one we have is develop a plan. It is important that we develop a plan. And what am I talking about? Plan? Yes, you got to develop a plan, a strategy that you could apply to do reading comprehension better. Some students read questions first to underline keywords and then read the passage. Some students read the passage first, especially students who have had a lot of reading experience. Reading in the sense I am referring to reading daily newspaper or novels for that reason. You have a good speed in reading and then you technically go to the questions. So it is important that you have your own strategy to read the English reading comprehension. Whatever works for you is always the best. So have a plan. The next thing is recognize the structure. What are we talking about? Recognize the structure. You know it is important to understand the theme of the passage. Usually the theme of the passage is told in the first sentence of the reading comprehension passage. It becomes way more easier for students to understand the story or the topic of the passage when you understand or when you follow the theme of the first sentence. Usually the first sentence says it all and then the remaining things it is a follow up. So you got to have a recognizing of structure knowledge when it comes to a reading comprehension passage. So the first thing develop a plan, read the question first, go to the passage or read the passage first if you have a good read speeding, good speed reading habit. Questions first thing and the next thing is recognize the structure of the passage. When you understand the theme you find it little more easier to follow the story in the passage. And the next thing is important phrases. When I talk about phrases it is not just about phrases, it is also about unfamiliar words, we call them vocabulary. It is important to have you know working class knowledge of English vocabulary and the important phrases. Students who are finding it difficult or students who technically find it difficult to recognize unfamiliar words find it way more difficult or let us say more time consuming to read the passage. So let us say you find it more difficult to read the passage, you end up spending more time on the questions as well. So technically you got to memorize few important phrases, idioms and certainly vocabulary. And how do you do that? We have a lot of sources available online, we could do a lot of reading the daily publications you know. Why do we need a lot of newspaper to have a right command of different terminologies and terms? Yes. So develop a plan, recognize the structure and then important phrases. Moving to the next one, the next one is author's voice. When I say author's voice, I am referring to the author's tone. It is definitely important to understand the tone of the passage. Sometimes we also encounter questions on the tone of the passage, the mood of the author and what is what do you likely agree with or the author is likely to agree with. These questions are connected with the tone. And how do we understand different tones? Simple. We sit back home, we read different stories and we try to understand what tone the author is referring to. Ironical, satirical, analytical, there are different things you know to name some. It is certainly important to figure out the tone of the author. When you do not understand the tone of the author, probably your answer choices may not go in sync with the passage that has been asked. And the next one is uh, quickly scanning. Now how do quickly scanning happen? Imagine a student has never done reading at all. 
and would you think it's easy to you know scan the passage quickly in a span of minutes definitely not it takes time uh, CLAT requires a lot of reading habit from students the more you read the better you perform the more you read it turns out to be easy for the student to understand the tone of the author or the structure of the passage what is the author trying to intend because we see the newspaper articles or when we read a novel it's important that we travel with the author we travel with the story so similarly reading comprehension when it comes to CLAT it's important that you understand the theme and how do you understand that you understand with the above set points a quick scan of the passage will certainly help you out to understand in what context is the passage given philosophical is it about socio-economic conditions and it's easy for you to you know also get an idea should you be spending more time on these questions should you skip move to the next passage or should you be you know catering little more time on the keywords in the question so all this happens with a quick scan when i say quick scan i'm also referring to unfamiliar words and phrases in the passage that is way more important than the questions that are being asked so when you understand the phrases or the questions that could probably be asked in the questions you find it way more easier yep and then contextual comprehension most of the students find it difficult to memorize vocabulary or when they encounter an unfamiliar word they find it more traumatizing for students who are slow achievers or students who find vocabulary to be very strenuous could go with this textual or contextual comprehension how do we learn vocabulary we learn it contextually we read the words before we read the word later or after the word and we figure out the setting of the story and then we get to know what could be the meaning of the word it's important that you figure out the context of the passage what is the context of the ribbon of the written passage when you understand the context you guess the meaning of the unfamiliar words and then you go for option elimination your work gets more easier when you understand the context of the passage being given next moving to employ cues so when i say employ cues i'm referring to finding some spots finding some clues in the passage so students who have had a lot of reading experience who do a lot of reading find it definitely easy to figure out the setting of the passage so what do they do they exclude or they do away with all unimportant information and they go to the crux of the passage and how do you do that you have to remove certain unimportant information the author has already given in the passage you know you can try this maybe you can go to the questions first and then look for the keywords i mean i'm referring to the keywords when you already know these are the questions that you're finding in the passage you are already employing some cues you're employing some ideas that technically gives you the hope of finding the answers in the passage yep and moving to the next one it's time factor we all know CLAT is a time bound examination most of the examinations are it's important for you to have a time limit and how do you do that it's simple set a timer and read passages read short paragraphs and make sure after you're done with the reading of this you are able to frame or produce 10 sentences from the red passage or from the red story if you're able to do in the given limited time then you're already doing well remember time F is important for CLAT examination you cannot afford to spend lots of time reading the passage lots of time reading the questions you will end up wasting a lot of time in the English section so it's important that you set a timer and then do the passage carefully yeah and the next one is be wise what does be wise mean be wise do not answer all the questions or answer all the questions it's technically up to the student to think it's important for you to not waste time on things that you're not familiar with it's important that you spend little time on things that you are unfamiliar with and spend more time with the things that you're familiar with. Imagine you already encounter a few questions that you're not familiar with. What happens? Your confidence is hampered and you end up giving more wrong answers. So what is important? It is important that you answer the questions that you're familiar with, you're very sure about. When you're not sure about, skip, move to the next one. 
it's important and that's the reason why i say be wise don't be you know don't fall for some questions that may you know confuse you and you know cater you cater more time on the questions and finally you're confused and moving to the last one the last and significant tip is improvement there is always a hope for improvement you can always improve a lot you know when you began reading or when you began preparing for clat you were in this kit and having read so many passages or having solved so many passages you have reached a certain level and there's always a scope for improvement and always remember answer the questions that you're familiar with spend very little time with questions that you're unfamiliar with pick up a lot of unfamiliar words memorize a lot of vocabulary do a lot of phrase phrase and idioms exercises and the most important part always practice a lot of reading comprehension passages reading comprehensions have never been new we have been doing this since schooling the format has changed certainly the, the type of questions that we have been asked is completely changed or definitely changed today we answer questions that are more inferred we try to figure out what could be the opinion of the author and all so these were 10 significant approaches for clat and i'm shaji mohan from abhyas online clat prep thank you very much we'll see you in the next video